Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to attempt our first hardcore mission. Uh, mission. Uh, but before we do that, we've got some we've got some money to spend here. Um, so the three things that I've, I'm after, as all of you know, um, are the top end pick, the top end kniffy, and the, uh, the best bow in the game. Um, and I think we're going to do the bow now. I also want to get the furnace and the campfire. And if you didn't know the MXC campfire, what makes it worth getting is the fact that um, you can you can uh, burn it outside during a storm so the rain and stuff doesn't put it out. And then, then just having an MXC furnace um, with minus 25% energy transmutation resource cost, meaning it's cheaper to fuel, um, is worth having around too because I have played with that. Um, uh, or, or with somebody else on multiplayer that had it and saw the use of it. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting the Zhang Hu bow, 50% uh, arrow speed and 10% damage with bows and crossbows. It does have a minus 15% charge speed of bows, but I don't think that's significant. Um, so this is the best bow that we can get. And so let's go ahead and do it. As you can see, I've got 1,805 Ren and 579 Exotics. I have done three or four deep vein speed runs, and I can get the, my best time doing that was about 32 minutes, but it usually takes me anywhere from about 35 to 40 minutes uh, to do that. Uh, I also did a dust up again, just the normal one, not the hardcore one, and it took me about an hour or so to do that. And then I did... Um, headstone geo survey just the normal one uh, to see how the mission works because that's the one we're going to actually do hardcore in this episode all right and so it, with all of that you know this is what we've ended up with you know currency wise okay so let's go ahead and um research the zheng hu bow and let's craft it Okay, so that leaves us with 55 coin and 79 exotics. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy two bundles of the Aruda arrows. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to actually do three bundles because why the hell not? Um, because we are going to have... Um, we're going to have a little fight at the end of this uh, this mission. Okay, so we got the arrow bundles, and I want to research. I, I have to research this, of course, um, in order to get to these guys. So what? how much of this would we need to sell to essentially get 300 um, so if we sell 30 of these, that gives us 150. So we'd have to sell 60, but maybe 55 because we already have 25. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so that gives us 300 coin, and that's enough to research this. Um, oh, actually, I guess I don't need to craft it, though. Um, and then we need 75. Oh, we need 500 to research this guy. So this is a, is only 75 and 50. So if we get 75 more, um, so that's 10. If we do 15 more, we can research and make the furnace. Uh, wait, what? Or I'm sorry, the, the campfire. There we go. And then, you know, we'll work on, on this later. I'll, I'll do more speed runs and stuff uh, off camera to get to build these back up. Okay, so that um, gives us some new stuff here. So let's go ahead and put the uh, the Xi, Xi Jing bow back. We're not going to be using that any longer. Um, it's too bad you couldn't, like... Ooh, if I destroy this, do I get resources back? It doesn't appear that I do. Okay. So I don't want to destroy it then. Um, all right. So let's see. We're going to need to make room for... I think we'll bring the campfire with us because, hey, it's our new toy, right? 
Uh, this is going to be a really fast mission, so we're just going to use Oxite for air. So we don't need to take the tank with us. Um, we should probably take... Uh, wait a minute. This is the new one, right? Yeah. So let's take that, of course. And we should take the knife and the pick and all that kind of stuff with us. This is our backpack that allows us to run faster and less damage on falling. And then... Oh, man, we need room for three of these arrow bundles, though. Wish we had more room here. So what is the other thing I could leave behind? You know, I could probably go ahead and leave behind... Uh... Let's leave behind the axe, because I can just make a stone axe if I need an axe for anything. Which I probably will, but that's super easy to make. Because I don't want to take time to gather stuff and... Um, you know, have to build up to, to bone or even flint arrows or anything like that. I just want to go. And we only have two hours to do this anyways, but it is a very fast mission. Okay, so I think that's the loadout that we want to take with us. Uh, we have our physical resistance in virus suit on. We don't need the cold resistance one for that. And that's, I think, what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go uh, back to here and do new prospect. And we're going to do... Heads, headstone hardcore geo survey. We have well, we have th actually three hours ish to do this, uh, but again, it's very fast. Welcome back. Yaneo's looking for detailed geo data from the surface. One area in particular has really got their attention. Exotics, most likely. They want someone to drop down, set up a survey system, and beam the data back up here. You're good for this? Okay. Um, so this is just in the forest. Um, we have... Uh, we would get 125 Rin and 10 Exotics for doing this. And I think we could probably knock this out in 20... 20-ish minutes, maybe? We'll see. Um, okay, so we've already got our loadout taken care of. We're good to go there. And let's do this. I'll see you guys down on the planet. We've been on Icarus a few years now, but the place is still a black box. Yaneo is planning to change that. They want geological data and lots of it. They need you to go set up three survey stations. Something about tectonic movement. I don't know. I'm no geologist. But it always comes down to exotics in the end. With that much data, you'll need a central uplink to beam it up here. Locations are marked on your map. You'll find supply crates dropped nearby each site with the tech you need. And be careful. Wildlife seems to resent this kind of thing. All right, Good luck, friend. let's move. So basically, for those of you who don't know how this mission works, um, you have to set up th uh, three laser thingamadoodles to set up a triangulation. Um, and then you have, once you do that, uh, then you have to set up an upload device. And it's when you get to the upload device and you activate it that, that the, the fun starts. Um, so what we're going to do is... We're just going to run and set up the three triangulation laser thingies first. And then before we activate the upload device, uh, we'll do a little bit more prep. So that's that's my plan for doing this on hardcore. This mission is super easy to do um, in the non-hardcore version. But of course, you only get 75 Rin for it. But, you know, it's, a, it's an actual uh, early earlier mission anyways there's a few earlier missions i still haven't done yet um and we'll probably get around to them and do them just to do them you know um so and this is one of them and i decided just to do the normal one off camera uh and do the hardcore one uh, on camera with you guys
Okay, we're at the first location here, so we just take the geostation thing out of here and pop it there. Okay, we're reading station one activated. Okay. Keep it up. Now we gotta run all the way over to there. Okay, second station. Grab the thing. Put it on here. Now it starts. Station two is up and active. Laser beaming station over to the other connected. one. You're five by five. I'm five by five. I'm not exactly sure what he means by that, but hey, I'm five by five. And the third station. Station three connected. Systems holding. Nearly there. Just need the uplink and Yaneo's gonna have all the data they need. Set it up by the lake. Something about it's got them real interested. But nobody tells me anything. Okay, so now we run down to the lake here. And here's our spot. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, before we get started is let's put our campfire here. I hope I don't forget this. <laughs> Um, and we're going to, I made, um, a little stone axe here just to cut a little bit of wood. Okay, so let's put this uh, wood in here and I want to cook up these carrots. And I guess we could do the pumpkins and the meat, too. What's going to cook first? The pumpkins are, actually. Yeah, let's kick, click a, cook a couple carrots. Um, and now, let's see. Can I make a... Yes, let's make a bone sickle real quick. Just get a little more fiber. Because uh, what I'm going to actually do is put, like, a little protective thing around this. Oh, and we're also going to make a repair hammer, too. Uh, so let's just grab like three stone for that. So when I did this on normal mode, I just, I basically just took them on on foot and it was, it was like almost a joke. But, you know, this isn't normal mode, this is hardcore, so we're going to take a couple extra precautions. We might even actually grab ourselves a, a little bit of fish too, now, since it's right here. Um, let's get, oh, that's a rabbit. That's not a fish. Let's just grab a little bit of fish. I don't need a ton of them, but a couple maybe for healing in case this ends up being a little tougher than I'm prepared for, I guess. Okay, where's all the ones that chase me? They're the easier, easiest ones to get. Here's one here. Okay, and you got a little too close, and somebody just nailed me. There he is. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, so let's get our barbecued carrots off. Um, I guess we'll grill some pumpkins because we can. 
Um, now, what I want to do is I want to uh, just get some fiber, and we're going to make just a basic wood structure, something to give it a little bit of shielding. And, I, you know, I might not even need to do this. I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes after I'm finished with the the this hardcore version of this quest for the first time. Because what will happen is we're going to get rushed by critters, right? And they're going to try and damage the, the thing. In fact, let's grab the thing right now. And we'll put it in place. Okay. But we're not going to activate it quite yet. All right. Now, let's make... Um, can we put wood railings straight on the, on the ground? I don't know. Let's find out. We can. Look at that. Uh, the reason I'm not using walls is because... Um, this thing needs room to, like... Uh, transmit the data, like, you know, the laser beams. Whether or not it actually does, I don't know, but we're going to assume that it actually does. So... We're just going to put this around, and this should keep, hopefully keep stuff from coming right up to it. But we're going to also keep it repaired, too, so um, let's, uh, it's not quite in the center, so let's do this. This is going to be a little jank, but I don't care, <laughs> as long as it does the job, right? Okay, so that, that takes care of that. Um, let's grab this, and we don't need any more of this or that. We'll grab the pumpkin, and then we're just going to cook up uh, these fish that we got, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, fish is done. Uh, let's pick up our campfire so I don't forget it. And we don't care about the rest of that. All right. We're going to pop ourselves a barbecued carrot that gives us a 5% projectile damage. Uh, we'll do a grilled pumpkin and we will do a fish. Give us a little extra health. All right. I think we're ready to do this. Uplink activated. Data's coming through clean and green. Okay. So we just have Shouldn't to wait. Long, if you look in the upper left hand corner, we. Defend uplink transmitter. It's at five percent now, so we just have to wait till that hits one hundred percent. So we're gonna start getting rushed by hostiles. We'll just kind of look around and see. Uh, they usually come from over there or over here. At least last time I did this, they did. Look at us on our badass bow, man! Ten percent damage, fifteen percent projectile speed. Okay. Uh, so we're at twenty eight percent, twenty nine percent, thirty percent. Where are the hostiles? Is this quest broken? Hmm. When I did this on normal, they they had attacked by now. Something's weird. Does it have something to do with me putting the fences around? I wasn't trying to break the quest. I was just trying to protect the thingy a little bit better. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if um, my... My fences have jacked something up here. If you 
guys are looking to, looking for a way to cheese this quest. I guess this is the way to do it. <laughs> I don't know that for sure. I guess we could pick them up and um, see what happens. Let's pick them up on each side. I see a, a wolf walking around over there. All right, let's pick them all up. Oh, now we got some incoming. Seriously, a level one wolf? I think, I think it's the fences, you guys. I think it's the fences. Yeah, now they're coming. Level one bear. Seriously, level one critters. That's all you're going to send at me. This is a hardcore mission. <laughs> wow. I was figuring, you know, the animals would be a little higher level. It. Okay, let's try something. Let's put these back in place. And just see what happens. Oh, shit. Hey, get out of here. He's just being derpity derp. Okay, let's put those back in place and see. And you now they're starting to come now. That's oh, it. that's it. Scan's done. We got a whole lot of data out of that, and your nails gonna pay solid. All right, well that's it. Okay, that's it. You yeah, it. I just said that's all. Icarus is a wild place, but it ain't got nothing on you. I wonder if I'm just curious. See, I wonder if. Will you shut up? <laughs> so you'll be looking real good right now. I wonder if I would have not put the fences up if we would have been attacked earlier. I mean, we were well over 50% of the way there before we started getting attacked. And that's that's not what happened when I did this on normal. They started coming around 20%, I think. Huh. I'm going to have to try this again without the fences um, and just see because, I mean... This is for a hardcore quest. I mean, 125 Rin and 10 exotics. And let's see. We start. I started this at about 645. It's 709 right now. So 710 would have been 25 minutes. And, you know, it's going to probably take me at least five minutes to run back. So for 30 minutes of effort... That's not too bad. It's still, I wouldn't say it's still as good as deep vein extraction because I can do deep vein. My best time is 32 on deep vein. And, you know, f from that you get a, a 175 rin, but you get all the exotics too. So I'd still say that was probably a better one than this one to run. But, I mean, if the fences are really breaking this, I mean, what an easy thing to do. I wonder if you could, you probably have to stay near the the geotransmitter thing. If you ran away from it, once it started, it, you might fail the quest. I don't know. Either that or you just fortify it and then run back <laughs> while it's ticking away. I'm not sure. But anyway, okay, that was, um, that, where am I going? Goodness, I'm, I'm sitting here blabbing, not paying attention. Um, that was our first hardcore mission. Um, and honestly... I don't think hardcore uh, needs uh, should be in the description of that mission. I mean, even if I hadn't put the fences down, you guys saw the level of those animals. They were level one. Uh, I think we had a level 15 wolf at one point. It's like, come on, man. Um, but you know, here again, I guess if I would have, if I was in early game and I didn't have uh, all this fancy schmancy equipment, then it would have been a little harder. But even so, it's still not that difficult, really, if you, when it comes down to it. All right, well, um, I'll meet you guys back at the pod and we'll end out this prospect.
All right, we're back to the pod. And let's go. Easiest hardcore mission ever. <laughs> I think it is anyways. I don't know, maybe there's another one that's easier. Okay, so um, let's continue here. Thinking about doing this again and not even messing with the stove or anything, just running straight there um, and just doing it as quick as possible and seeing how fast I can do it and, and not use the fences this time um, just to see if that actually made a difference or not. Uh, okay, so I guess we have to go here. Sometimes this pops up automatically and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so there's our 125 coin and our 10 uh, uh, exotics. All right, nice. So, yeah, like, you know what? Let's try this again. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to cut the camera and I'll meet you guys at the actual uh, upload site. But I'm going to time it, and I'm going to just see how fast I can do this, because um, if I can do this in, like, say, 20 minutes, then it becomes a little more... Uh, I would if, if I can knock this out in 20, say, 20 to 25 minutes, it's probably worth doing. If I can't, I think I would rather just keep doing deep van extraction. Uh, the, the, the thing about deep... Will you shut up? <laughs> the thing about deep van extraction, though, is that sometimes bad things happen. You can get into storms. You could get polar bear issues. Um, you know, so there's that factor, too. It, it, when I say I ran it in 32, I mean, that was in, a, like, a really good conditions, and it isn't usually, you know, perfect conditions. So that's another thing to consider. You know, we don't need to bring the canteen with us either. Um, so let's actually go back, though, to here. Um, and go to the workshop. And again, I just want to buy some more of the arrows. It's only cost 10 Rin. And let's just buy two bundles this time. That should be fine. And I can make some, uh, if I have to, I can make some bone arrows. Okay, now let's go back to here and take this again. Now, can I consume stack here? Can I do it here? Nope, I have to take the bundle down with me. Doggone it, that kind of sucks. I mean, we might as well take this since we since we have room for it. And yeah, I guess we might as well take that too. Okay, so I will uh, meet you guys at the upload site, and I will. I'm gonna run actually run my stopwatch now too. And um, I'll bring you back when we get there, and we'll just see what happens this time. And I'll let you know, you know, how the time goes as we come along. So I'm actually going to start the timer now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the upload site. All right, guys. So it's taken me about 10 minutes uh, to get to here. Um, so let's grab this. I could have probably gotten here maybe in eight minutes. Um if I really would have pushed, but I I got uh, kind of off track a couple of times. Um, okay, so before we actually start this, though, I want to uh, I want to make a repair hammer. Okay, and let's put this in and start it up. Okay. Uplink activated. Data's coming through clean and green. Now. While we're waiting, let's put this down here and yeah, see they're coming right away now. Give me my arrows back, bear. So yeah, those fences appear to affect the critters coming in. I mean, they're so low level, <laughs> you can just knife them, <laughs> you know? Um, why don't we make some of these, just in case we need some. So I don't even need the Inaris arrows for this. 
just doesn't seem necessary. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to actually get some fuel for this. Uh, yeah, we can put some sticks in there and we'll just cook some meat in it really quick. These bears are just derpity do, man. Total derpity do. And again, you know, like I said earlier, I this would be definitely be more of a challenge if you were doing it very early on, because it is an early quest, but for me at this point in time, it's really just a farm quest, you know. Okay. This took a couple of hits. Okay, so we are at 54%. Man, look at all these bears. <laughs> these craters here. I don't I don't need them for anything. And it's not like I need the level, so I'm not going to bother trying to skin them or anything. Let's have some meat. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to cook some veggies for the run back, so at least it'll give us a little more stamina. On the way here, I only had berries and watermelon, so I didn't quite have the stamina that uh, I would have liked to have had. Okay, that's it. All right. Let's go. We'll pick that up. Don't care about the rest. That's it. You did it. All right, let me get a mark. Is is a mark this. Place, but it ain't got nothing on you. And heading back. Timer's still running, so you we are now 15 so minutes into this quest. So we might be able to knock it out in, in about 20 minutes, maybe a little more than that. Which, considering, you know, how much easier and relatively safer it is than deep vein extraction this might be worth worthwhile doing just farming it all right i'll let you guys know when we get back ow <laughs> son of a bitch that hurt okay so i jumped off the waterfall and broke my leg yay me uh, but we are back in the pod and return to station. Okay, timer is 20, 20 minutes and 5 seconds. And again, I'll bet you I could have uh, probably knocked a couple of minutes off of that if I would have been more paying more attention to, you know, the direct path. So, okay, so for 20 minutes, um, 20 minutes we get 125 Rin and 10 Exotics. For 35-ish to 40 minutes, I can get 175 Rin and about 63 Exotics, but at a much more dangerous, in a much more dangerous situation. So based upon that, I would say this is not a bad, um, you know, hardcore mission to farm. Um, probably not the best one, but, you know, not a, not a bad one uh, if you can knock it out in 20 minutes. And man, you... You know, if, if you are doing this at the level, at my level with the gear I have, you don't need anything. I mean, I, I killed all those animals pretty much with my knife. <laughs> I don't even need my bow. Um, so, yeah. Um, not bad, really, if you think about it. For for the very short amount of time and the, again, relative safety of the mission, uh, not bad at all. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Um, I think what we're going to do in the next episode is I might do a couple more speed runs in between um, the next episode, but um, the premier, from what I understand, the premier mission to speed run 
in the end game is the hardcore dust up. You have six hours to do it. Um, I did normal dust up on my own after I did it for you guys um, in about an hour. And I could have probably done it even quicker than that. It's not that hard to do. I, I didn't bother getting a rifle. I just used, uh, you need about two long bows and some flint arrows. And then, yeah, it's not that hard to do. Uh, plus, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good at reading the, the worm boss now. I, pr I pretty much know his moves. So I, I killed him without him touching me once. Uh, of course, some of that was probably luck. But, you know, this this means got a special kind of trouble. that... You, you know, the boss is 30%, has 30% more health, 10% more movement speed. And, and yeah, so somehow. I don't know. I think I could probably do this. Uh, in fact, I'm sure I could. Uh, it's just a matter of do I take the time, you know, to, to get a rifle first or not, you know, or, or try and do it with, you know, we got our good, our good bow. So if we just got like a shitload of the Inaro arrows and just went for it, you know, without really prepping, we could probably do it, I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to think about it. I am definitely going to do this, and I'm, I'll am i do it for you guys on camera when, when we do it. I'm just not sure if I'm going to do it right this moment. So, anyway, I will let you guys know what the plan is of, uh, in terms of our next uh, prospect in the next episode. I'm kind of thinking, you know, I've been doing a lot of Fast and Furious farming and, and stuff like that, I'd kind of like to slow down a little bit and and maybe do a longer mission, like maybe a stockpile mission, um, and and just relax a little bit, enjoy the game without you know trying to continue to grind so hard and fast, you know, for all of the the Rin and the exotics. Uh, so I'm um, you know at, I don't know if that'll happen in the next episode, but it should happen fairly soon, where we'll probably do a stockpile mission, and I'd like to probably do it in the Riverlands. Um, and build a nice base and just kind of relax a little bit and enjoy the game without, you know, trying to, to rush so much. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to answer out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.